Hi, my name is Laura, and I will be doing a screencast on German physicist Robert Mayer. Robert Mayer's full name is Julius Robert von Mayer. He was born November 25, 1814, in Heilbronn, Germany, and he died March 20th in 1878. He is a German physician, and he is one of the founders of thermodynamics. He is best known for his ideas on conservation of energy, which is the first law of thermodynamics. Mayer's father was a pharmacist, so Mayer studied medicine, and he studied at the University of Tübingen, and he became a member of the German Student Corps, and he earned his doctorate degree. In this map, you can see where he, was, he lived most of his life in Hilbrun, in this red area. Later, he journeyed to Jakarta as a ship's physician, and it led him to contemplate the laws of nature, because he noticed that during a storm, the waves were warmer than during when it was calm in the sea. And he started thinking about the physical phenomenon of warmth, and he really questioned how warmth and heat moved and its motion. And in 1841, he married and settled in Hilbrun. At a young age, Mayer showed a lot of interest in mechanical mechanisms, and later, when he traveled to Switzerland, France, and the Dutch East Indies, he, his friend, Karl Bauer, privately tutored him in mathematics and engineering, so he began to develop a passion for physics. And in 1841, he wrote on quantitative and qualitative determination of forces, and his interest in heat and motion of heat increased. Mayer had many contributions to the world, and specifically to the field of physics. He was the first person to state the law of conservation of energy, and in prin the principle that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. In his studies of heat, he calculated the mechanical equivalent of heat, and it was very close to what is now the commonly accepted modern equivalent of heat. He also is known for his ideas on oxidation and photosynthesis. He had one of the first ideas about those topics, and he found the relationship between work and heat, which was the first law of caloric theory, and that later helped him develop the law of conservation of energy. Mayer also came up with a relation between specific heat at a constant pressure, CPM, and the specific heat at a constant volume, CVM, where R is the gas constant, and the relationship is shown by this equation here, and you can also see the relationship, and he derived this for an ideal gas. Some of the problems Mayer faced was that his work was not taken seriously. He was doubted by other physicists, and his inability to express himself scientifically led to people doubting his work and not believing that he had the qualifications to say what he said. And a lot of physicists rejected his idea of the conservation of energy and overlooked his ideas. And one thing that really hurt him was that a lot of cr the credit for his theories was given to James Joule. So he was overlooked a lot. His mental health started deteriorating and he was later put in a mental institution after he attempted suicide on May 18, 1850. And once he was released later in the 1960s, he still continued to work vigorously as a physician until he died of tuberculosis. By then, his scientific fame began to grow, and he later received recognition and appreciation for his work. While his work was often overlooked, he still received different awards. In 1859, he was awarded the honorary doctorate, and John Tyndall revived his work by giving him recognition in a lecture at the London Royal Institution. He published works about the mechanics of heat and its motion, and he was awarded personal nobility. This personal nobility gave him his last name, von Mayer, which differentiated him from the other classes. And on March 20th, 1878, he died in Germany from tuberculosis.